Mm-hmm. As you could tell from the title of this video, this is a recipe that didn't turn out well. So you might be asking, if this is a fail recipe, why he share it? Why are watching this? Well, if you watch until the end, there's something to take away from this, I promise. So today I'm making a mushroom pie. I had two pounds of mushrooms and I wanted to do something with them that I never tried before. So this is my first attempt making a pastry pie. The recipe I followed had both cups and weight measurements. So to be extra precise, I measured the ingredients by weight. So we have 315 grams of flour, 90 grams of salted butter, 148 grams of shortening, vegetable shortening, and a few teaspoons of icy cold water. And for the pastry dough, you want to make sure that all the ingredients cool. The butter, the shortening, and the water. Add about half of the flour into our food processor. Then add your butter. And shortening. You want to pulse that for a few seconds until it starts to clump together. Then add the remaining flour and continue to pulse until it comes together. Transfer to a bowl and add 3 tablespoons of water and bring together with a spatula until a dough is formed. And transfer your dough onto a work surface. Cut in half then form into 2 discs. Wrap the disc in cling film and put into the refrigerator for at least one hour. It's better to leave it overnight. While the dough rests in the fridge, I'm moving on to preparing the mushroom filling. Slice the mushrooms and the aromatics. Then to a pan, add 3 tablespoons of butter and about an equal amount of olive oil. You want to add the diced onion and begin to caramelize it. And you want to sweat this on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. That would allow the natural sugars in the onion to come out. They will get real sweet. After about 15 minutes or so, the onions are ready. I add some chopped garlic. Then I add the mushrooms and seasoning them with a homemade all-purpose seasoning. as a bit of black pepper, paprika, dried thyme, onion powder, garlic powder. And season with salt to taste. Then I add some dried thyme and dried rosemary as well, but fresh herbs will work here as well. Cover and allow to simmer for 10 minutes on medium heat. And once the mushrooms are cooked, you want to transfer them to a bowl and allow it to cool to room temperature. In the meantime, you could go and, you know, wash up your wares, tidy the kitchen. Sprinkle some flour onto your work surface and to your rolling pin to prevent the dough from sticking. Then you want to take your time and roll out the dough. You want to make sure there aren't any cracks in the dough and you want to make sure it roll out evenly. So while transferring the dough to the dish, I realized it was falling apart, so that was my first red flag. I was thinking to myself that this probably means the dough not going to come together the way it's supposed to, but we're pressing on. Add the mushroom filling. Then you want to cover with the other piece of dough that you would need to roll out. Take a fork and press it against the edge of the dish where the two pieces meet to seal it. And using a fork, poke some holes to the top of the pie so the steam can escape while baking. Then you want to add some egg wash to the top of the pie. And I'm baking this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Now out of the oven and we're looking promising. And I figured the danger was averted, so we're good to go, good results. I let the pie cool for 20 minutes before cutting. And going in for the cut, I realized the crust was not as flaky as I thought it would be. And then when I tasted it, I realized the top was cooked, but underneath was still raw. And then the mushrooms too just tasted kind of bland, which was surprising because I tasted it while it was cooking and it was fine. But I think for a pie filling, it probably needed more flavors incorporated into it. So at this point, the pie wasn't looking good or tasting good. 
and I wanted to throw it away. I wanted to throw away the whole thing. I took a few minutes to think about what I could do to salvage it and decided to throw out the pie crust but keep the filling and make a mushroom soup. So I added the mushroom star pot, went in with two cups of coconut milk, and then I added some butter, some more herbs and seasoning. I want to cook that for a while and then I pureed it in the blender. Boom, I had some tasty, earthy mushroom soup for dinner. Now to be totally honest, my initial thought was to delete this footage and I had no intention of uploading this video. But I figured I needed to keep it real. And one of the main things I strive to do with the channel is to keep it authentic. And social media could really be a place where it seems that the norm is to curate and present the best versions of ourselves. And people seeing other people living lives that seemingly without failure and only successes. I really thought it was important to share this video because I wanted to convey the message that I don't always be successful when I try to be sometimes as actually fail as seen in this video. And you might be watching these recipes, watching, you know, content on the channel and thinking you don't want to try something because you're not that good at cooking or you're not that proficient in the kitchen or that kind of thing. And, you know, it's really to remind you that we all on our journey and sometimes things don't work out as planned. But there's no reason to not try really want to encourage you to get in the kitchen, try recipes, try the stuff that we're making. And you don't have to do it exactly like how we do it. It's all about experimentation. As I say, have fun, do it to your taste, do it to your preference. And yeah, just um, enjoy the whole cooking process. And although this video was a fail, I hope that, you know, you did enjoy it still and at least I got something from it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so and click the bell to be notified every time we post new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.